Hi, everyone. Welcome to Black Voices, Black Joy, Gail Borden Public Library's celebration of Black History Month. Every Wednesday in February at 6 p.m., special guests from the Black community will be sharing their favorite stories, books, and poems with us. I'm Tish Callamer, Community Engagement Manager, and I'm so happy to welcome you all. For a list of books and other resources, please click on the link in the event description. Let's get started. Tonight we celebrate fantasy and color. Traditionally, speculative fiction such as sci-fi, fantasy, and horror has been white. White authors writing stories about white characters, even the extraterrestrials and dragons. Octavia E. Butler, who was born in 1947, was one of the first black fantasy and women authors to receive acclaim and success. She also influenced today's generation of young black fantasy writers who take on contemporary themes of racism and class in a wide variety of fantasy settings. Here to tell us about one of his favorite authors is Andre Dyson, Digital Media Lab Supervisor at the library. Andre will be reviewing and then reading an excerpt from Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. Hello, my name is Andre Dyson from Studio 270 Digital Media Lab at Gail Borden Public Library. And I'm here to talk about the book Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. Uh, this is a great book. It is a teen book, but also is a little bit advanced enough to be considered a young adult book. Um, it is a fantasy fiction novel, uh, adventure. Uh, it is based in West Africa, and it is a fast read, although a long book. There are 485 pages, and as well as a uh, very riveting, very descriptive style of writing. Um, very in detail, very descriptive about the scenery, very descriptive about the character uh, traits. And I, I would recommend this read to anyone who was into fantasy, into uh, black literature. This is great. It's great to, to see books that are written not in the context on only black struggle, but black ingenuity, black spirituality. This kind of contains everything, uh, uh, black intuition and also uh, black possibility and delving in the fantasy world. Uh, it's not too often that that is celebrated in, in black culture. So I think this is a book that is that has a, a great character, even though she at first is not strong, she learns to become strong. So. It's a realistic situation when it comes to character building. Uh, not everyone starts off strong, and but there is the possibility to progress. So I, I really like the character. Her name is Ara. And basically, without giving too much away, I'm going to read an excerpt out of the first chapter. Every year, the five tribes of Heka gather for the Blood Moon Festival. And I tell myself that this will be my year, the year that wipes the slate clean, the year that makes up for the waiting, the longing, the frustration, the year that magic lights on my skin, bestowing upon me the gift. When it happens, my failures will wash away and I'll have magic of my own. I'm 16, near grown by both kingdom and tribal standards. My time is running out. No daughter or son of any tribe has come into their gifts beyond my age. If it doesn't happen this year, it won't happen at all. I swallow hard and rub my sweaty palms against the grass as the djembe drums begin their slow and steady rhythm. With the tribes camped in the valley, there are some 30,000 people here. We form rings around the sacred circle near the temple of Heka, and the fire in the center ebbs and flows to the beat. The drummers march around the edge of the circle, their steps in sync. The five tribes look as if they have nothing in common, but they move as one to honor Heka, the god of their lands. Magic clings to the air so thick that it stings my skin. It dances in the night sky 
above endless rows of tents quilted in vibrant colors. My tunic sticks to my back from the heat of so many bodies in tight quarters. The sharp smell in the valley reminds me of the East Market on its busiest day. My feet tap a nervous beat while everyone else claps along with the music. So just a short example of some of the writing is very in depth. Um, I don't wanna give a major part of the book away, but just to show you the style of writing, it's very quick. Um, and you kind of get lost in the descriptive words and it's very poetic like almost. Uh, Rena Barron is a very good writer and I would recommend this book for Black History Month. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for Black Voices, Black Joy, and celebrating Black History Month with the Gail Borden Public Library.